Hello, gentle viewers. This is Av Guardian welcoming you back to Victoria 3. Why do I not hear any audio? Did I turn it all the way down again? No, there it goes. That was weird. Uh, so, in our last episode, we've done a bit more imperializing. We've taken over a a healthy chunk of North Africa, but more importantly, we have ourselves a very large and powerful market. We also open up a treaty port here in Persia, and we're trying to get them to join us, um, which will be cool. I love it. So, um, we are rapidly approaching the 20th century. Um, so that should happen this episode, I think. And it'll be great. It'll be amazing. Let's go ahead and unpause the game. And do some gameplay. What is going on here? Is it tax waste? It's always freaking tax waste. I'm pretty sure we're actually fixing that. Um, maybe. Oh, we sure aren't. Um, what is killing my bureaucracy? It's not even anything in particular. It's just stuff. So, um, let us immediately waste no time and expand our government administrations. So we do some going to do one, two, three, four, five. There we go. That should be enough. Um, to start fixing that. People are coming to Italy. That's great news. We really need to worry about that. An awful lot of people are pro-racial segregation. I've got to admit, I'm not a fan. Oh, hi, Austria. Damn it, we're too friendly. I mean, I'm gonna start damaging relations to see if I can, like, get involved. I mean, I could just join the other side. But I don't think it's gonna be enough. Especially with Britain getting involved. Got... We unlocked export value. Beautiful. Did we get a cool event for that? No, no event. That's lame. Um, and now I can cancel all of these redonkulous, unproductive trade routes. There you go. Coal is really expensive, but our biggest issue right now is tax waste. So let's hope that this will fix part of the issue. The voice of the nation. <gasps> land of mountains, land by the river, may all of our enemies shiver. Hence our steps lead the way our fate will be completed today. I do enjoy that. It's a very fine national anthem. Well done, team. A war goal's been added for Russia. What the fuck? Campaign financing. I'm going to kill their momentum as much as I don't want to because I don't want to spend more money. Oh, this is a proper civil war. Yeah, I'm declaring neutrality. 
I don't want to get involved. Interesting. So, the U.S. and France... Wait, what the fuck? The United States wants to randomly conquer part of Russia? Have you lost what's left of your mind? What? And you're fighting Britain. And your only pal is France. I am, I am confused. I am doing a confuse right now. I literally oh, I have an obligation to Russia so I can't actually go against them that's unfortunate I, I want France to be my bros the Ottomans joined oh god damn it Russia really Oh, this is going to go so poorly. And now the U.S. wants to rival me. Oh, this is very bad. Here's the thing. I can't not mobilize my generals. I have to. Because shit's about to go down. Organized crime. I really... Uh, this is fun. This could go quite badly for me. Um, France now hates me. What a weird ass fucking war. I tell you what. Great. And here's the thing. Um, I have to mobilize my conscripts, too, or we have no chance. And, like, I don't even care if we win. I just can't afford to lose. Russia, I don't know what convinced you to start World War One. I. I wish you hadn't, though. And here's the thing. There is such a small chance of us actually winning. Like, let me be realistic here. Our defense is better than it probably should be. But I know France has a way bigger navy than I do. Yeah, I literally can't afford to, to fight them. Um, can I just surrender, like, now? Like, there's no point in me fighting this war. Because there is no war goal against me, so yes, I'm out. I never wanted to be in the damn war. Right. 
People enjoy the free trade party. I kind of want to keep the intelligentsia in the government to try to neutralize the armed forces. That'll give me more law options here. I hope France instantly wants to be pals again. My dude, Russia just freaking did it. It is surveyed. We will make a suitable offer. Okay, I now have way too much bureaucracy, but that's cool. Yeah, we gotta get the price of steel down. Um. Oh wow, I have some unproductive trade routes. Whatever, I don't care. I mean, coal is the biggest issue, right? Like, coal is a gigantic issue. Oh, it's in the decisions tab, right? No? Yeah, Egypt's already... Yeah, the canal icon is already there, so... That was very uncool. Very, very uncool. All right, so what is my issue here? Is my repress of coal that high? It is high, but it's not like disastrously high. I think we'd probably see more mines, which I think we are working on. So let's kind of let this go for right now and just see what happens as you start building more coal mines. So that price starts to drop, which will make steel more productive. It'll be great. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's huge. Let's get a steam donkey. That's what all the kids go wild for. Uh, we'll make less coal, but we'll save laborers. And right now we are badly lacking. So yes, uh, I will actually do some rail transportation. No, I won't. Oh, that also reduces laborers. Okay, so we've got some labor-saving ideas here. Um, I mean, steel railway cars are very easily constructed at this point. Let's get thrashing machines. That sounds good. So how do we fix the economy? We fix the economy by getting the price of steel down. We fix the price of steel by getting the price of coal down. And we are building plenty of coal mines. It 
And of course, we're also building um, tooling workshops, which will be very nice. We need to get the price of steel down. That is by far the bigger issue. Um, let us expand our steel mills. Unless we can make them more awesome somehow. I could use the rotary valve engine to use less people there, but that's... Our issue now isn't quite that we're low on people, although we're getting there. It's just we don't make enough stuff yet. Plus, Apulia's got loads of labor. I've got plenty of places to put people. I just need to decide what it is I want to buy. Um, so let's get a level 10 steel mill in Apulia, too. Let's get that price of steel nice and low. Let's also expand our coal mines. Um, I think that's always something that can be expanded. I don't have any more. So that means they're going to be importing. Who wants to be pals and give me coal? But nobody wants to be my pal. You're all like, fuck you, Italy. We don't want your stupid coal. Which is a real bummer. Um, position members put forth demand. Yeah, let's make a compromise. I want to get this past as soon as possible so we don't have the revolution. We could also reduce government wages. That would also be good. Um, nah, this is over with now. Damn it. Sigh. That's cool. So what are we building? Are we building tooling workshops? Still? Why is this not doing anything? Oh, I don't have coal there. Okay. There we go. I think what happened is as private construction at the same time that happened to get there first. So yeah. So I need coal. Wait a minute. Actually, very important question. Chad, what manner of buildings do you have? Do you have coal? You have no resources, except a little bit of logging camps. And all your arable land is used, so that's gross. Bureaucratic and broke wheel. Let's cut through at least some of the red tape. Oh, I see what happens. Our bureaucratic center is way too big now. I could just increase my... I guess increase taxes again. The thing is, I really want to try to reduce the number of radicals in my freaking country. So I think just letting it chill for right now isn't the end of the world. Like, here's the thing, it is getting better. Like, you'll notice that our money is ticking up. Um, so building steel mills is clearly helping. Oh, 
And I think we have unused construction too. No, not yet. Um, Sicily, expand your port, please. And then, what else did I want to do? How's the price of steel now? Is it still crazy high? <coughs> the thing is that nobody's... Well, none of my prices are crazy low. I mean, I could use fertilizer more effectively, but... Um, okay. Yeah, man, getting below 20% for iron, coal, and steel just seems like it's going to be nearly impossible. Like, here's the thing. I'm not going to be able to get enough coal to reduce it. I think everybody that has coal is using it. So I think that's gonna be the issue. I can probably get iron that low just because I think I have more iron mines I could be building. I could try to find a place that makes a bunch of coal. Oh, that's not a terrible idea actually. Find a place that has a bunch of coal, get them into my market. Yeah, none of these places will join my market. Can I get China into my market? That'd be pretty bonkers if I could, but it seems pretty unlikely. Yeah, see, even if... Yeah, I actually make less money than they do. Um, it is GDP is going up, though. We're doing pretty decent. Um, wish I could see everybody who produces a thing. Here you go, show production on the map. Russia makes a bunch of coal, but I, I just don't see them. Why don't the Brits want me to import coal from them? Do you just dislike me? Oh, you dislike me pretty intensely. Are you embargoing me? What is your deal? You're going protectionism. And I can't improve relations with them for some reason. Oh, because I don't have enough stuff for that. I see. I'm going to stop that because I'd much rather the Brits like me. Because if I can get them to like me more, then they might actually trade with me. And I desperately need British coal. Uh, what can we do about iron mines? Iron I can do something about. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's fine. There we go. That should help a little bit. That should help us with our iron supply. If I can get that cheaper, that's gonna help things. I'm not gonna keep damaging relations with Austria. It's not worth it. What is, who's Prussia fighting? 
Oh, okay. Access gizmo here. As much as I'd love to take down Austria, I don't think I can. Oh, you're actually trying to unify Germany, are you, Prussia? Well, I wish you well of it then. I hope you are successful and badly beat Austria so that I can then pick on them and get my Venice and all that fun stuff. I don't like how the trade unions are so pro charity hospitals over private health insurance. Beautiful. Do a promotion. I mean, he's already a field marshal. I mean, okay. Okay, the U.S. wants a trade agreement. I'm all for that. Give me your coal. Give me all of your coal. You really just won't give me any. And it won't even make a difference. That's highly upsetting to me. Man, whatevs. Um, man, go Team Prussia. I would definitely... Wow. Th what? That was fast. Um, so that happened. Uh, oh, dear. I don't think you're ever going to give me my land, are you? <laughs> that was the worst possible outcome, is just Prussia eating Austria. That's very terrifying. Uh, will you hook me up, though, with cheap coal? Really? No? Okay. Yeah, you really don't like me. Um... So I can't really do much about that. Afghanistan loves me. Is there a way to like pick something to look to import from them? What do you build here in Afghanistan that I could import? Uh, what if I imported some opium from Afghanistan? I wonder if they'd be willing to, to join the fun. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll do this. Sure. Get some from Oman. There we go.
Wait, you're actually importing coal from me. Oh my god. Um... Um, are there other laws that are worth pursuing? I don't think so. Um, I think, like, I'd love public health insurance. Uh, why can I not enact this? Oh, because the industrialists hate it. So as long as the industrialists are in my are in the the government they'll oppose it i could kick them out no i actually cannot get rid of the industrialists no matter what they're too critical to our successful nation it's a downer but that's the truth Would you like to be my friend? You would not like to be my friend. Okay. Fine. What is Persia's deal? No, Persia still doesn't like me. I could just try to puppet them. That's a possibility, I suppose. Now I'm earning money, real money. Oh, because I'm not using my construction. I knew that. No, I didn't. Okay, we need hardwood. That is something we can actually address. I can just expand my logging camps. So give me one, two, three, four. There you go. We gotta unlock Piedmont too. Um, but building these logging camps will help. That'll help us get a hardwood. Okay. We are making a profit again. I think it's because we are doing good. Why am I not realizing taxes? I don't know. Um, why are you at risk of breaking? Um, what else is expensive? I mean, I could start exporting fertilizer because I make way too much of it. Let's do that. Here, Russia wants some. China wants some. America wants some. There you go. That'll make people happy. Make some money that way. You know what? We need to fix bureaucracy. Let's cancel the emergency relief in places. The thing with the people. There we go. So Germany's completely terrifying. Um, wait, what's happening here? I'm having a hard time finding dye again. I'm not building stuff. What do I want? Uh, 
Okay, is anything cheap? Iron is getting there. I'm going to try to import some iron to try to lower the price. The price of steel is actually falling quite nicely. Um, are steel mills still making a nice profit or are they doing badly now? They're not as profitable as textile mills. Let's expand this a bit. I need to unlock this giant labor pool in Campania, so let's expand it. There we go. And Piedmont can have a textile mill too. Um, what are the poor spending most of their money on? Clothes, then grain. Do we go for some wheat farms maybe? I've certainly heard worse ideas than expanding our wheat production. Uh, let's do that. Here we go. Remember, anything that gets people working is a good thing. Um, really? What is your deal, U.S.? Why are you being grumpy with me? Oh, I don't have enough. Where am I spending all my diplomacy? Hmm. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more countries of my customs union in order to trigger this. Does anybody want to join my customs union? Come on, guys, it'll be fun. Montenegro would do it if I give him an obligation. You know what? I'm happy to do that. I wouldn't mind getting Mexico in our union. Um, but I don't have the diplomacy. Okay. Oh, neat. So Sumac. Like here's the thing. Pump jacks isn't terrible, but it's also not as useful as you'd think. What does Aniline do? Oh, is this one lets me build um artificial dye? Do it. I just don't see this happening. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I am saying it's highly unlikely. 
because I just don't see a future of us making this money. Um, I can maybe get iron that cheap, maybe even steel, but never coal. Um, because I just can't get enough coal is le problem. Oh, because Campania is in freaking turmoil again. Yay. I need to get people to work in Campania. That'll fix that. Let me add five more levels of steel mill. That'll help. Fire so many of you so grumpy. Okay, so it's the laborers that are most likely to be radical. The urban center in Campania is not making very much money. Why don't we go for covered markets? In fact, why don't we just do cover markets the whole freaking country? Let's cover the shit out of these markets, yo. Oh yeah, I want to get some of my fat Italian stuff. <laughs> okay, who's in the Socialist Party? It's literally just the trade unions. And that's going to be the issue, right? It's They're not going to have enough political power to make any demands. Maybe this election will change for them, but we'll have to see. Could also theoretically. Um, I'm once again not using all my construction. What do I want? I mean, am I anywhere near satisfying all my orders for steel? Or iron, but mostly steel. Well, let's focus on iron. Let us build every iron mine we can in a place that has enough people for that to make sense. There we go. I could even import iron to get iron lower, but I think making more is more useful. Oh, God's will. God surely wants the socialists to win. 
Absolutely. I mean, to be fair, if you read the Christian Bible, I think that actually be somewhat pro-socialism. Um, just gonna throw it out there. Is there a thing we could build to help us make even more money? Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Sorry. Because this is going to free up a whole bunch of people and I don't have anywhere to... Maybe this is actually a better choice. We'll try it. Look who steam powered the rushers. Hmm. But that would greatly crank up the price of coal. And again, the issue is that I don't have enough of it. And I can't really get more of it either. I could do electricity now. <laughs> is there an answer there? Uh, what does electricity do again? Like, what does it use? It turns engines into electricity. Okay. Let's build one in Campania. And then we'll like turn electricity on somewhere in order to make that actually profitable uh, Germany is attacking the Romanian uprising for some reason Remote, we're not making lots of money. It's just a matter of getting the radicals to calm down. Especially in Campania. Okay, so now we've got to rejigger things. Oh, interesting. Um, that's crazy. Oh, I'd love to pass public health insurance. The industrialists won't go for it, though. They'd hate me for it. We earned a lot more money on proportional taxation, but I can't afford to annoy the industrialists that much. Oh, really? They'd be annoyed, but they wouldn't, like, stab me about it. Is there something else we could pass? Like, primary school. I definitely want to push for something. I'm just not sure what. Just regulatory bodies do. Oh, that adds workplace safety. Like, I kind of want to shift to proportional taxation, but I don't think we're going to be successful, even if I do. We're also making a shit ton of money, so it isn't as though I feel obligated. mess with that. Oh, so that's the issue. The trade unions won't go for that. That's fine.
I wouldn't mind weakening the industrialists, but I'd only want to do it. Who would get mad at this? Let's try to get public schools. I think that's really helpful. And we'll see if we can make this happen here. I do find it interesting that the Socialist Party has taken over. That's kind of neat, actually. Expand power plants. We could try it. I'm going to end this episode when we get to 1900. Um, it might make this episode a little bit longer, but that seems good to me. We're making lots of money. So I'm not I'm not saying we're not economically dominant, because we're actually doing quite well. Um, what are we... We need more hardwood. And we need more glass and opium. So, glass I can fix. Let's expand the glassworks in Campania. And Campania needs infrastructure quite badly. We'll fix that here in a second. Um, and the other thing we need is hardwood. So we'll go to a logging camp here. Here we go. This is starting very slowly to bring down the price of hardwood. There we go. That should help. Um, so we're fixing glass. And Campania's infrastructure is really low. Let's max out their port. And we'll probably want to expand the railroad too at some stage. But yeah, we've got to get Campania up and running at max capacity. That's quite important. Can I eat Persia yet? I'm gonna start bankrolling them so I can get an obligation. Okay, I just must have gotten an obligation on them. Here we go. There we go. That'll give me a source of oil, potentially. That'll be nice. That'll be good times. Hey, Brits, can we do a trade agreement? That would be lovely if you'd be okay with that. Hmm. Okay, what would we like to export? I mean, I'd happily export clippers if I could. I don't know if anybody's going to want my clippers, but they can have them if they want them. Um, Artillery is actually a possibly major growth industry. Here we go. 
China and Russia want some. Easy choice. Let's get us some cash. Oh, uh, academic assistance. We'd be happy to have their help. That's a big oof. The one thing I do appreciate is this isn't annoying the industrialists so much that they hate the government. They're annoyed and they're not happy about it, but they're not like... They're not like the end-all, be-all of, of rage and hatred. I need more bureaucracy again. I always need more bureaucracy. Very frustrating. If I get stupid Campania to calm down, that would be lovely. Organized crime, let's pour some money into it. Okay, I definitely want to start building synthetics plants in the worst way. I could unlock rubber. Maybe. Um, let's try to get caught up on military attack, actually. Oh, we actually are somewhat caught up. I get self-propelled torpedoes, I suppose. That's a pretty quick thing. Okay. So, what do synthetics plants need to make dye? Fertilizer and sulfur, things that have an abundance? Yes, please. Let's put them in Lazio. One, two, three, four, five. And Piedmont needs some infrastructure. What is happening? Why? Okay, there's Piedmont. Um, Piedmont, first of all, has one too many coal mines. It had a coal mine that didn't exist. Um, hmm, here is my port. It's very important. Get it? Um,. Yeah, we can start producing our own dye. That's going to be tremendously valuable to me. Because then I can start upgrading some of the things I've been holding off on upgrading, like upgrading all of our textile mills um, to using... Or not textile mills, I guess. I guess it would be glass workshops. What else is it that wants dye? Oh, is it making ceramics? Yeah, maybe. Wait, the North Italian Uprising. Uh, such relics are the past age. I mean, here's the thing. I would be over the freaking moon if they could succeed, but they can't, even if I do help them. Like, I, I can't win without other people joining. So I'm going to stay quiet for now. And we're going to see if anybody else considers supporting the Italians. It would be so good to make this happen, but I can't. I don't have the military strength to make this a thing. I mean, I could expand my military, but I don't think that's enough. Yeah, I'm out. I'm sorry, guys. I want us to be bros, but I can't do it. I really do need to expand my military, though. Um, especially since we're making this much money. 
Yeah, if I want people to take me seriously, I need more battalions. So we're going to go to buildings, we're going to go to development, and we're going to add ourselves some barrackses. Campania, let's kick you up to 25. And let's also, of course, increase the size of our government again. Although part of this issue is, wait, what is costing me so much? I just have too many people. Um, and so we're just getting to the point where we just need a bigger government and I just can't do anything about that. There you go. Plenty of things to build in a I like how the North Germans now hate me, but my dudes, like, you just don't have a choice. Like, you're gonna get raffle stomped by Germany. If I had a bigger military, maybe I could get more involved, but... Alas, alack. No such luck. Extra teachers. It's fortunate we already have... No, we'll do this. I don't want to push it too hard. Okay, soft propelled torpedoes are very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, five years to research. Seems like maybe some society techs need some attention. Oh, I have all of those? Okay. I do have all of those. I guess I'll work on vulcanization. Uh, that'll be fine. And let's go ahead and upgrade the navy. And I should probably expand the navy too, now that I think about it. And let's do torpedo boats. All right. So naval bases. I actually can't have that many, but I do want to have at least 100 ships. So let me do 40. That adds another 40 to my current ship pool. And then let's expand you up to 20. That should get me to about 100 ships. For the moment, let's see if we can't import some... Okay, can we import coal? We can. The Brits finally liked me enough to give me some coal. Thank you, British chums. Can I also import some glass just until I can develop my own domestic production? There we go. So much glass just got dealt with. I love it. Oh, they want more construction? Um, I guess we can do that too. There we go.
Yeah, let's weaken the armed forces a bit. They're a little bit too powerful for my taste. Okay, what if we switch to electric lighting? How badly does that fuck our... Oh, you can be publicly traded. That's cool. Um, how badly would that screw us? I don't have enough electricity for that. Oh, the price of coal would crash. Am I okay with that? So our power plants, are they being fully... Oh, they haven't fully hired up yet. I think that's our next big goal though. Like the price of coal will then just disintegrate, um, which will help us meet one of our objectives. Um, but right now we're not earning enough money with it because the price of electricity is too... Oh, his engines are too high. That's the problem. We can fix that. Let's expand the motor industry and carry it into Lazio. Seems solid. Seems like a, a good choice. The Brits are fighting in North India. I really can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. I need I need no migration controls. Okay. Then that's what we'll do. Um, as soon as I complete this, we'll try for no migration controls. Can your port, your port is at max speed, so I think we need to expand your railroad. Can I expand law enforcement? I cannot because I don't have the bureaucracy, but if I did, I could. There you go. Everybody go crazy for the public schools. Do we build our government administrations or are we waiting on this? Oh, we're building them now. Okay. Oh, so let me make my own silk. Okay. 
let's get the combustion engine so we can start making cars. Or radios, I don't really care. What electrical capacitors do again? Oh, I can make electric sewing machines. That's cool. Oh, steam turbines let me use coal to make power if I wanted to. Pneumatic tools are really powerful though. Let's get those. All right. What do I need to get no migration controls? Oh, the industrialists want it. Interesting. Okay, how's the price for iron and the price for steel? They're both right at the base price. Let's try importing both iron and steel. Like as much as we can get. I'm not really getting enough there. Yeah. I mean, I can also make more iron and steel. That is still something that we are capable of doing. And I just now realized we had 1900. Um, but yeah, let's get us some more. And let's also expand our steel mills. And with that, my friends, we have reached the turn of the century, which is 1900. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're making lots and lots of money, which means they're planning to expand construction some more as well. Um, things are fairly peaceful. Um, radicals are still a bit of an issue, but we're getting there. And now that the PSI is in power, we can probably get some more progressive matters pushed uh, to make us even more effective. Because uh, I really would like to try to... Actually, let's end the episode by maybe... I don't really want an old age pension. That seems like a bad idea. Probably compulsory public school, because it'll let us invest more in education. Let's, or is that already maxed? No, we could get one more level of it. Um, Home Affairs is maxed out. Okay. I want to see if there, what our next law should be. Probably public health insurance. Oh, that'll radicalize the industrials. I don't want them that angry at me. Does this make them extra powerful? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, that increases mortality, 
let's do this. Let's go for compulsory public school. And that'll conclude today's episode. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, we will try to keep going with this. Um, I am noticing it chugging a little bit. Uh, but I definitely want to keep going with at least a little bit longer to see how the early 20th century turns out. Until next time, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you.